Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so big money bolos. So I don't have anything that's like, oh my goodness, it sold for how much? But um, I do have some good ones. Everything in this video is over $30. It sold for over $30 and the highest sold was 72. So it's gonna be between 30 and 72. Just to give you an idea, I know my big money bolo videos typically have some over $100 ones, but um, since we're on lockdown, I'm not sourcing as much. I'm sourcing from my money pile, so I'm not out there getting all the new inventory. Um, but actually, one of my highest solds was um, a money pile item, and it's the last one I'm going to show you, so it's kind of exciting. All right, if you're new to the channel, I share items to be on the lookout for items you can buy low and sell high items to be on the lookout for all right let's get started all right the first item is actually an item that oh did i put it on screen share i did not oh i would have went through the whole video with no screen share <gasps> that would have been awful here we go oh my goodness could you imagine me getting to the end and being like wah wah okay so the first item let's do this again is this Lucien Picard. It is a Swiss watch movement. And my husband bought out a watchmaker's estate and he did not want to mess with the women's watches. So he gave them to me <laughs> and I'm like, sweet. Um, so this one sold for $35. I took a best offer plus shipping and I have two left. So you can see it's a brand new, new old stock is what it is, movement. And it's 17 jewels, which if you look, um, these little uh, ruby looking things are jewels. So kind of cool. So they're like rated by jewels, I guess. I'm not really 100% sure how all of that works, but pretty cool item. The next item is this Luna Matthews, and she is a Monster High doll from 2014. The box is a bit damaged, but I just noted it and took pictures I picked this up at a thrift store, and I want to say, if I remember correctly, she was $3, and I sold her for $30 plus shipping. I probably could have held out for the full asking price, but I just wanted to move, move some inventory. So the next item are these cute little vintage Easter plush. It's a uh, Muffy Vanderbear and Hoppy Vander Hair, <laughs> and it's North American Bear Company. I picked these up at a garage sale and they sold for $45 plus shipping. And they're not very big. So I'm guessing this was probably somebody buying something for maybe an Easter basket. The next item I sold are these vintage sweater clips. And these did come from my bulk buy. And, um, I, I probably could have sold them separately and made more money, but I have 350 pounds of jewelry. So um, I decided to lock them up and somebody made me an offer on them. And they, I think they were in Australia, if I remember correctly. And they also made an offer on this lot. So for the two lots together, I sold them for $72 plus shipping. And there's some really pretty ones in here. Um, so basically a sweater clip hooks from one side of your sweater to the other and it's kind of like a little decorative piece So yeah, they're I mean, it's interesting. It's something that they did Many 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 years ago. Um, you don't see it much anymore, but uh, I guess people still buy them. So the next item are these um, Gold label cameo creation fancy women mini mini portraits and I sold these for 35. I just took a best offer I paid a buck for all four of them at a garage sale. It was like a garage sale slash estate sale. And these were inside and $1. So I was happy to get 35 plus shipping. The next item is this American Girl doll bitty baby outfit. It's complete. It's got um, the shoes, the scarf. It's got the little book, these accessories over here. And it all goes together. And this one actually took longer to sell. There were some from this lot that I bought that sold super fast and for big money. Um, they're back in uh, some of my other what sold videos. Like I said, this one for some reason hung around for a little while longer. I took a best offer of 30 plus shipping. It is vintage, it's retired, it's um, 
right here's the little tag that you want to look for. So definitely be on the lookout for Bitty Baby. It's a great bolo. All right, this little brass bunny figurine with the embellished, um, I don't know, ornament things on it. I don't know. They're like little jewels. This came from the Goodwill and it was $5. And I took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you can have it for 40 bucks. So pretty excited about that one. It was a fun little find. Okay, I was like, is it going to work? Um, okay, so this is another one of my Simpsons items. If you guys remember, um, I bought two, a box and a tote full for $10. This one sold for $54 plus shipping. And it's got the little characters, this guy, and then these accessories that came with it. And... I don't know if you guys saw my thrift uh, with me video, but I got this at a thrift store and it sold pretty quick. I took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. Again, I could have held out for more, but I think it was $7.99. I did pay up a little bit for it. I was in the store, I looked up comps, I knew it would sell. So um, I was willing to pay $8 for it. And the buyer paid shipping. Did I tell you what it is for those listening? It's a 1990 clay art face wall mask, Wizard of Oz. It's the Cowardly Lion. This fossil watch was in my bulk buy, um, the 350 pounds of jewelry. And I sold this for $30 plus shipping. These also were in my 350 50 pound bulk buy. They're Christian Dior earrings. They are pierced. And I took a best offer of $30 for these and the buyer paid the shipping. And this I have had a while and it was a pain to ship. I did um, put the pool noodles along the outside and then just boxed it really well with padding. Uh, this one I took a best, nope, I'm sorry. It sold for the sale price of $35.20 plus shipping. It's an, a mid-century modern Zodiac serving tray, and it's just barware tempered glass. And I was happy to see it go. I got this at a garage sale. It was in a bulk buy, so I probably had a couple bucks in it. This scrapbooking lot, I got this like two summers ago, and I probably should have made it smaller because it just was not selling at the size it was, I think because shipping was so expensive. But I ended up selling this for $50, and I feel like this probably sold given the circumstances. People are locked down, they're in their homes, they're wanting to scrapbook, they are looking for things to do like puzzles and whatnot. So this lot sold for $50 plus shipping, and it was a huge lot, so they got a really good deal. And again, it was a bulk buy, so I don't have much in it. This is a Little Kittles Clubhouse from 1965, and it sold for the sale price of $39.60 plus shipping. And I got this at a thrift store. It was a whole bunch of vintage Barbies. I actually have a thrift um, haul video on it where I show you guys exactly what I got. I think it says vintage toys in the title. I got so much good stuff, but it was Barbies. It was Little Kittles. It was Trolls. Amazing, amazing find. So yeah, that was a good find there. The next item is this vintage Halloween 1997 Tales from the Crypt animated Crypt Keeper. It's a Trend Masters item. I sold it for $40 plus shipping and it lights up and makes sounds and it's kind of creepy, but vintage Halloween is always something to be on the lookout for. This was a bulk buy at a garage sale, a bunch of Halloween items. So I probably have two, three bucks in it. All right, this Express, uh, I cannot talk, Express Blazer. Um, this was a retail arbitrage that I bought at a discount store. I'm going to say I had about five bucks in this and I sold it for $44 plus shipping and I still have one left. I have a bunch of men's Express Blazers if anyone is interested. And I always link my store down below in the description if you guys ever want to make a purchase, be sure to, um, when you make an offer, let me know that you watch the channel so that I can work with you guys and I appreciate it. And we're gonna move on to the next item. This vintage Brio wooden railway system playset. It's missing the man and the horse. And I got this at the Goodwill for five bucks and I sold it for $35 plus shipping. 
The next item is this fidget. And I picked this up at a garage sale kind of on a whim. Um, I didn't know what it was. I had to try to like, looking things up sometimes is super hard. Um, I could not find this guy, but it I did find it. It's a fidget, I think is how you say it, or fidget, I don't know, F-I-G-I-T. But it's animated, it's motion, lights up, it's got sound, it's pretty cool. It sold for $30 plus shipping. And it's kind of feels rubbery. So you'll know it if you see it, but definitely pick it up because um, it's a bolo. And I paid a dollar for it. Sorry. Nerf guns. Okay. So this was from a garage sale. I bought a ton of Nerf guns. It was a bulk buy with a bunch of other items. I sold the other lot of Nerf guns, I think for a hundred. And I took a best offer on these for $55 plus shipping. And I pulled these out of the big lot and sold them separately because they were all the same. And I just wanted to try it because I could fit them in a decent sized box and shipping wasn't going to be too crazy. So I was very happy to sell those for $55 plus shipping. This is not from my bulk buy. This is another garage sale buy where I bought a bunch of jewelry at a garage sale. I don't remember which one or how much I paid for it. But typically if I buy jewelry, it's in lots because I know nothing about jewelry. I'm trying to learn, but it is super hard. But anyway, this one sold for $30 plus shipping. And the last item that I was telling you about that has been sitting in my money pile is this guy. It's a Cutco um, wood block. It holds Cutco knives. And I took a best offer on this for $65. I could have held out for more because these go for big bucks. But um, I paid $5 for it at a garage sale. And I was like, 65 bucks plus shipping. Let's just move it out. So off it went to its new home. So these are my 22, um, I'm going to call them big money bolos. Some of them are not that big. But, uh, you know, most of them are garage sale finds. I mean, I made really good money on everything, garage sale and thrift store. So I'm really, really happy with that. I was hoping I'd have like a hundred dollar item to show you guys, but it just did not happen this time. So um, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to comment and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.